Hello everyone. I just thought I'd do a video and say uh, happy in bulk and hello to the Wiccan and Pagan community. Um, here soon I'm going to be rededicating myself to the Goddess and the God because basically I haven't studied or practiced Wicca in about three years which is a considerable amount of time so uh, I have to read a bunch of books a bunch of books that I've already read and some new ones that have come out and some that I didn't get to read while I was reading books uh, and uh, I might even uh, try to do some book reviews as I read them uh, to maybe help some people so they can kind of get an idea of what the books are like uh, from my point of view or my opinion on them before they go out and buy them. Uh, also I'm going to be doing <clears throat> a little project of a year and a day of studying and so reading these books and doing practicing some things will be a part of that uh, and, and I'm going to post videos on that uh, and each book too and so I gotta go back over all these books and uh, get reacquainted with them and some of the new th things that are coming out and even read some crappy books that I don't even want to read or never wanted to read because you never know when you're going to find something that's really cool even in a crappy book uh, that you hadn't even thought of before also for any of you uh, new people coming to Wicca out there uh, I'd like to say or welcome you to the religion and say that you know pick up a book pick up many books uh, ask many questions learn all that you can and uh, that way when you meet somebody one day who says oh well you're not doing it right you can tell them to piss off because you've gained all this knowledge and you've practiced some if you if you practice while you've been learning and your way is the right way and if they don't like your way then they can piss off and also, if, if you're going to post YouTube videos, you should expect trolls. Trolls are people that leave all them nasty little comments and stuff that's going to anger you. Uh, let it go. Don't worry about it. Don't answer that because, you know, they're just bad people. And, and this, this is for the trolls out there. You can go ahead and take some of that. Also be showing a video or two on how I set up my altar. I know everybody's got their own way and possibly doing some discussions on different things uh, also might do a few subscription contests and contests otherwise uh, because those are all the free stuff is always fun so uh, oh this is the book I just read <clears throat> and we can say I started my year and a day a few days ago or whatever uh, we'll call it January 25th just to be on the safe side and this is the book I uh, just read <clears throat> I hadn't actually read this one before but this is Wicca a guide for the solitary practitioner by Scott Cunningham and for any of you just starting Wicca this is a really good book uh, not the greatest I liked it there were two or three things I didn't agree with but that's just me that's, you know but if anybody hasn't read this book <clears throat> you should definitely pick it up uh, I'm sure if you've been studying Wicca for a while uh, you know everything in here uh, might be a thing or two you didn't nothing bad in here the next book I'm starting to work on is basically the second one which is Living Wicca and it's also by Scott Cunningham a further guide for the solitary practitioner uh, I didn't start off as a solitary practitioner it was just a 
just something to read to get a good idea of. Mm. Also, I'll be taking notes on these things and putting them in this crappy notebook. I'll take notes, uh, I scribble them everywhere. It, it looks ungodly uh, when it's all trashed together. And after that, I'll take it from there and I'll be putting it on plain paper. So, and on the plain paper will go into a three ring binder that I have. And it'll help straighten it up so that I can go get a journal and make it into a really nice uh, book of shadows or I'll hand make my own book of shadows uh, because we have a few places around here like Staples and Office Max that uh, they have really good paper and uh, for people making your own book of shadows I think you should really try uh, write bigger if you're going to use a pen or a quill or something write bigger do you see all these uh, little lines on the paper here if you write on every one of those lines like you normally write uh, you're not going to be able to see it by candlelight if you practice by candlelight because if you go to look at it you'll be like really up close trying to see it in the dark because candlelight ain't all that great what you want to get is like a calligraphy pen or a sharpie or something and a lot of people say don't use that that's crap you do what you want if you however you ink it ink it thick practice uh, make bigger letters so that you can see it uh, I think that's about all and uh, thank you for watching